In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to activate the first-time initialization and set up the live stream view on a PC using the IVMS 4200 client software. Please ensure that the camera and PC are connected to the same LAN network as shown in the wiring diagram. You can use either a PoE injector splitter kit or a PoE switch. Choose one of these options and proceed with the setup. Note, in this demonstration, we show how to connect one Hikvision IP camera as a standalone device, without a DVR or NVR, directly to the PC software to view the live stream. This method can be used with any model of Hikvision IP camera. If you want to integrate multiple cameras with a CCTV recording system, please check out the other videos on our channel for detailed instructions. Download and install the IVMS 4200 client software, then open the software to proceed. For detailed instructions on installing the IVMS 4200 software, please refer to the video instruction link provided in the description below. Once the software is open, navigate to the Device Management section and select the Device tab. Click on the Online Device option to display a table listing all Hikvision devices connected to the same LAN network. Select the device from the list. If you see Inactive under the security label, it means the camera needs to be initialized. Select the device, then click the Activate button. For first-time use, set a password and configure security questions to complete the initialization process. Enter your own password in both the Password and Confirm Password fields. When setting the password, avoid including the username or using simple sequences like 123. Use a combination of characters for a stronger and more secure password. After entering a valid password in both the password and confirm password fields, a green tick will appear next to the password fields, indicating that the password meets the required criteria. This ensures your password is strong and accepted by the system. Once the green tick is visible, click the OK button to activate the camera. As part of the activation process, you will also have the option to set up security questions and answers. These are highly recommended because they provide an additional layer of security and can assist in recovering access if you ever forget your password. Choose questions and answers that are easy for you to remember but difficult for others to guess and ensure you store them securely for future reference. Once the camera is activated, you may need to set its IP address to DHCP mode. By default, the camera's IP address is assigned as 192.168.1.64. However, if your modem or router operates in a different IP range, your PC will not be able to access the camera through a browser or the IVMS software for live view. To resolve this, click on the Modify NetInfo icon in the software. A pop-up screen will appear. In the IP Settings section, enable the DHCP option. Then, enter the password you created during the activation process. Setting the camera to DHCP mode allows it to automatically receive an IP address that matches your network's IP range. Finally, select the camera from the list and click the Add button located below the table. This action will open the Add Device screen. In this screen, enter a custom name for your camera in the Name field to help you identify it easily. The IP address and port fields will automatically populate based on the camera's network settings. For the username, enter admin, which is the default username, and then enter the password you created during the activation process. Additionally, enable the Synchronize Time option to ensure the camera's date and time settings match those of your PC. Once all the information is entered, click the Add button to complete the process of adding the camera to the software. The camera will now be ready for live view and further configuration. On the device management screen, the status will show online, indicating that the camera has been successfully added to the software. To view the live stream, navigate to the Live View section. Click or drag the camera name you created into the viewing area to start streaming live video. With the IVMS 4200 client software, 
you can access not only the live view, but also a range of advanced features and functionalities. These capabilities will be explained in greater detail in upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more tutorials to make the most of your Hikvision camera system. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us create more valuable content and share resources with our audience. Thank you for your support, it means the world to us.